So now the functions of the digestive system, right? So I devised a little acronym here for you to always remember the actual function of the digestive system. So it's pronounced sim diegd, okay? So this basically abbreviates all of the specific functions of the digestive system. So first, we start off with secretion, okay? So your body begins to secrete special enzymes, special chemicals, specific fluids, for example, saliva, to help enhance some kind of lubrication, digestive enzymes, amylases, lipases, peptidases, to help break down uh, special compounds that you're needing, and also, for example, bile. So there's a lot of secretions that take place, right? So the best way to really think about it in order to understand the function of the digestive system is, you know, act exactly what it's doing, right? So first things first, you get hungry, right? You know, I'm hungry, I want a taco, right? I want to get a taco, so I'm thinking about a taco. So all of my saliva, all my salivary glands become activated to secrete all the saliva. So I have a lot of secretions taking place, right? Get to the taco stand, I'm like, okay, I want my taco now, right? I'm really, really hungry, right? So I grab the taco, get it for a really good deal, unconsciously, just put it in my mouth, and I begin ingestion, right? So you put the taco in your mouth, you begin to ingest, right? Now, in order for it to go down and be processed and absorbed, right, you need to do something, right? You need to chew. What's another way for saying chew? Mastication. So you need to, the process of mastication where you use all of your accessory structures, for example, in your oral cavity, for example, your teeth, tongue, salivary gland. These are all help for the process of mastication to take place in order to properly lubricate uh, your material in order for it to pass very freely down your esophagus, right? So then another process here is digestion, right? So digestion takes place where? Where does digestion take place? So digestion takes place in your stomach, your small intestine, your mouth, your oral cavity, right? So again, these, these acronyms is not necessarily in a specific order. It's just physiological processes that take place in the digestive system, right? You have absorption now. So we said, where does absorption take place? So majority absorption takes place in the small intestine. But as I mentioned before, the stomach plays a big role in absorbing water and alcohols, okay? Then you have excretion. So when all this material is, is absorbed, whatever is left over, any kind of metabolic waste is excreted out, okay? Now, all this material ends up in the small intestine, then it goes through the large intestine where you have the process of compaction, right? So you have all this liquid met metabolic waste that needs to become solidified in order to be defecated outwards, right? So m main function of the large intestine is what? We said, we said vitamin production, and also at the same time, it is absorption of water. And the purpose of absorption of water is for the allow for the compaction of the stool to become solidified in order to be have it defecate outwards, right? And then finally, this last process of of the digestive system is defecation, right? So defecation is when everything is becomes excreted outwards in order to restart this whole digestive processes from the start.